Um, yeah, my name's Hannah. Um, I've been fostering for four and a half years. Um, during that time, I've looked after all different ages of children from about three months old um, right up to 11. Um, at the moment, I'm looking after 11 year old on a long term basis. Um, and that means that he'll be here up to 18 at least. Um, I've looked after sibling groups in the past and I've also had children on a respite basis um, just for a week or two. Um, it's something I've always had an interest in from a young age. Um, I did grow up, grow up around it, I knew somebody that did it. Um, so I think I always just had that bit of insight. Um, and I just did went through uni um, and got to the end and just were at a bit of a crossroads in my life, thinking what do I want to do, where do I want to work? Um, and the only thing that I truly wanted to do was to foster. Um, it, it was always something I thought I would do, but much later in life. Um, but I just thought, well, it's the only thing I truly want to do, so why not go for it? Um, got in touch with the local authority and it just went from there. Um, quite easy, to be honest. Um, you know, I made that initial inquiry um, and a support worker came out to find a little bit about me and my motivation for fostering. Um, and after that, I was invited onto the three day skills to foster course. Um, and from that, um, I was then allocated an assessing social worker um, and she came out really regularly. Um, we um, kind of spoke about every aspect of my life um, and how looking after a child um, would change things and um, really explored a lot of a lot of things with that um, but it, it I didn't find it intrusive as I expected because I'd got to know this assessing social worker it just felt like it were a friend coming for a cup of tea every now and then and you know it was quite easy It's just normal family life. Um, I don't think we differ in any, you know, from any other families in that respect. We, you know, weekends, cinema, dog walking. Um, we share common interests. We we love camping. So um, every opportunity that we get, we're we're off in tent here, there, and everywhere. And um, yeah, we just get on with things. And during the week when he's when he's at school, um, he'll come home, and I'll just do that usual homework reading, um, bedtime routine, you know, we enjoy to watch, enjoy watching a bit of telly together um, and I think it's just typical family life. Um, I think the support's really good. Um, I've got a brilliant supervising social worker um, and she visits here regularly and we kind of chat through everything that's been going on and she's really good at giving advice um, and then you know in between those times she's always at the end of the phone if I need her um, and I've never felt isolated or alone fostering um, because I know there's there's a big team of people um, there to support the child and in turn that also means that they support me as well. Yeah I've been on training um, obviously safeguarding training um, I've been on attachment training um, Things like life story work, autism training, anything at all that's relevant. Um, it, there's, there's a lot of things on offer. You know, we, we're allocated the child's money um, and that money, money is to be spent on them. You know, for clo they get clothing allowance, um, there's holiday allowances, birthday and Christmas allowances. Um, so, you know, when then special times come up. There's always the money there for them to have a party, for them to have, have the presents that they want. Um, there's, um, foster carers get a skills payment um, and there's three levels of that. So generally you would start on level one and work your way up uh, through those levels to level three. So there is a financial reward. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, earlier I said... I went to uni and didn't know what I wanted to do and fostering was the only thing um, and you know nearly five years on I still feel like that um, so I think that says it all really yeah I love it I couldn't imagine doing anything else it's so rewarding and getting to give children opportunities that they otherwise probably wouldn't have been able to have yeah
yeah, 